Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing how to scan documents with your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and also how to properly organize them for future reference. So in this example, I'm simply gonna use a basic receipt. A lot of people like to save their receipts, so this is gonna be a great example, but remember you can apply the same concept of document scanning to any document. In this example, we are simply gonna be using a receipt. So here's what you wanna do. So here's my receipt, here's my phone. What you do is you go to your camera application, okay? Once you go to the camera application, you do have to go into the settings and you do have to make sure the scene optimizer is enabled. So enable this and then go inside and make sure scan documents and text is also enabled. If this is not enabled, it's not gonna work. You can still take a photo of that image, but scanning documents and text this way makes it nearly perfect. And I'll show you what I mean. So once you're done uh, setting this up, go back to the camera and then bring up your camera and simply point at the thing that you want to scan. So as you can see, we're pointing the camera at that receipt and at the bottom right corner, you can see there's a little scan button that just popped up. All you do is tap on it, okay? And look at what happens. You get this interface right here. Now, once you get this interface, what you do is you just make sure these borders is between the paper, as you can see, so that's fine. That's fine, perfect. And once you're done, you can do two things. You can either scan this document or you can extract the text that's inside that document. Now in this example, let's do the scan real quick. I'm gonna tap on save. You can also retake if you're not satisfied with what it has captured, but I'm gonna tap on save, okay? And I want you guys to look at precisely what it saves. So this, so this is what actually gets saved that looks like an actual square document, okay? It tries to replicate as best as it can the receipt that I scan. now it is right here. Now, after you snap the receipt, there's one more step I want you guys to do, which is gonna allow you to organize this receipt much more efficiently. So what you do is you go to the gallery and you go to that receipt that you just scanned, and all you do is you swipe up and you're gonna see this option here that says add tags. You tap on it, all right, just tap on allow, and then all you wanna do is you want to add a couple tags that's gonna allow you to easily track this receipt later down the road if you have to access it even years from now. So there's some pre-selected tags right here. I'm not gonna use those. What I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say receipt, I'm gonna tap on plus, and then I'm gonna say giant, which is the store uh, where I purchased these items. So I'm gonna say giant, tap on plus, and then I'm gonna tap on save, okay? Now I have two tags attached to that document that I scanned, and in the future, let's say years from now, let's say my gallery is all filled up, I can simply tap on search in the gallery, and I can search for that particular receipt uh, using these tags that pop up at the bottom here, or you can actually search for them. So if I tap on giant, it's gonna bring that receipt that I had scanned for that particular purchase in Giant. And of course, if I go back here, uh, if I tap on receipt, all my items that have the tag receipt attached to them will also show up here. So adding multiple tags just makes organizing much more better. So truly a fantastic feature that you wanna use if you like to organize your stuff. It's great for receipts, notes, even textbooks. You can do anything with it that you want. And like I said, you can either scan the document or extract the text out of the document. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?